Britain's new AI drone gunships will fly alongside Apache helicopters in future wars. The British Army has confirmed that it is exploring the development of an autonomous drone system capable of operating alongside AH-64E Apache attack helicopters. The initiative is part of the Land Autonomous Collaborative Platform LACP program, which aims to integrate unmanned platforms to enhance the force's combat capabilities. According to reports, the system would be designed to operate in a highly autonomous manner under the concept of being commanded, not controlled. Its functions would encompass multi-mission tasks in contested battle spaces, including reconnaissance, target acquisition, strike operations, countermeasure suppression, and integration with launched effects. In this way, the use of a teaming drone would increase the lethality and survivability of crewed helicopters, while requiring fewer logistical and maintenance resources. The Apache fleet was recently replaced, with 50 new aircraft delivered by manufacturer Boeing. The last one is still in the US for testing intended to make the platform capable of teaming up with uncrewed drones. Each helicopter is equipped with sensors including radar, and optical and thermal sights and a mix of weapons that can include a 30mm automatic cannon, wing-mounted Hydra rockets and Hellfire missiles. But Army chiefs are looking at pairing these helicopters with drones amid concerns that in future conflicts the attack helicopters would be vulnerable to modern air defenses. But helicopters are slower and would be more vulnerable, so the Army's drone program is intended to increase survivability. The Army envisions future drones with vertical takeoff and landing capability and the ability to carry payloads exceeding 200 kilograms. Areas under evaluation include AI-based autonomy solutions, systems integration, modular payloads, regulatory certification, and cybersecurity. To advance this process, the UK Ministry of Defence has scheduled industry workshops to be held on August 21, 2025, at the Defence Battle Lab in Dorset. Participants will include the Defence and Security Accelerator DASA, Futures Lab, and the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory DSTL, alongside private sector representatives. The announcement coincides with the entry into service of the new Apache AH-64E helicopter fleet, with Boeing completing delivery of 50 units earlier this year. Most of the aircraft are based at Wattisham Station in Suffolk, while a portion is assigned to training at the Army Aviation Center in Middle Wallop, Hampshire. The Apache E replaces the previous MK-1 variant and incorporates upgrades in engines, optical and detection systems, as well as greater weapon capacity, with the ability to carry up to 76 Hydra 70mm rockets, 16 Hellfire missiles, and a 30mm cannon with 1,200 rounds. With these additions and the development of unmanned systems, the British Army seeks to strengthen its modernization efforts and expand the scope of aerial operations in future combat environments. More integration of crewed and uncrewed aircraft had been hinted at in the Strategic Defense Review announced earlier this month. Chief of the General Staff Sir Rowley Walker said 80% of the Army's weapons in future wars would be drones as it could take months to build Apaches and tanks and years to train their crews. He said drones were vital as the Ukraine war had shown how a 20 million pound tank and four experienced crew can be lost to a 1,000 pound drone operated by a kid with a few days training. Defense Secretary John Healy said, from this year we will be investing more than 100 million pounds in new, initial funding to develop land drone swarms. Our autonomous collaborative platforms the mules will fly alongside the Apache attack helicopters and enhance the Army's ability to strike, survive and win on the battlefield. This will be a game-changer. Apache pilots will command up to six drones, known as mules, carrying missiles, sensors, and jamming kit. The mules will also be programmed to fight autonomously and control swarms of smaller drones on the ground. This triple-layer system will give the Army far greater firepower and aims to protect our fleet of Apache, Challenger 3 tanks plus soldiers on the ground. More integration of crewed and uncrewed aircraft had been hinted at in the Strategic Defense Review announced earlier this month. fleet of AI-powered drones could be fast-tracked into service as part push to make Britain war-ready. The British Army is in talks with a Silicon Valley drone maker about rushing a fleet of autonomous helicopters into service as military chiefs prepare to fight a war in as little as two years. The advanced robots manufactured by American startup Enduro would be put under the command of the Army's manned Apache gunships, allowing them to be sent ahead to carry out dangerous tasks such as reconnaissance, missile strikes or force protection. 
The proposal is being considered as part of plans to triple the Army's lethality by the end of this decade under Gen Sir Roland Walker, the Chief of the General Staff. He has warned that Britain must be prepared for the risk of a major conflict as soon as 2027 amid growing tensions between the West and Russia and China. Technology is expected to play a major role in the Army's upgrade, with £100 million announced last month for a program to develop drone swarms to enhance the Army's ability to strike, survive, and win on the battlefield. Under early proposals discussed by Andorral and military officials, the company said the machines and their software could be developed and manufactured in just three years. They would be the anchor product of a major drone factory the company is looking at building in the UK. Andural's design would also aim to use common electrical components that would be easier to obtain during a conflict than specialist parts. Richard Drake, head of Andural UK, said, This would mean you can run an Apache with crew in it, alongside maybe four or five of our uncrewed helicopters. They could go further forward into the battle while the Apache and its people remain further away from danger, so you are increasing lethality while keeping people safer at the same time. Mr. Drake said the discussions between Andural and military chiefs were aimed at addressing this requirement, adding, we've been really pleased to work with the British Army because they're very forward-thinking. This is an opportunity to take something we've already got in development and take it all the way there, with the Army as the lead customer. Our intent here is to co-invest, so we will put in a fair chunk of our own money to develop this so we can get capability to them as quickly as we can. It's going to be a push, but we're pretty confident we can do it. And if the project was successful, our intent would be to build as many as Europe wants to buy and export them from the UK.